One of the questions shooters have, as well as hunters, is what is a dominant eye, what does it mean, and how do you deal with it? So today, we brought in Dr. St. Louis, who's an optometrist and an expert on everything that has to do with the eye. So what is a dominant eye? How do we establish that? What, what is it? Dominant eye is gonna perceive the images that it picks up. It's gonna perceive them crisper, clearer, and brighter, okay? Now, the strength of the dominance varies with each individual. Some people are very strongly dominant, one eye or the other, and others are much more ambivalent. They're not necessarily too heavily aligned to one eye or the other one, you know. It's kind of like a, a right hand and a left hand. Exactly. Just as you're right or left-handed, uh, you can be right or left-eyed. And they will not always match up. Being right-handed does not dictate you're going to be right-eye dominant. Perfect. Can you show us how to do it? Certainly. There's a number of ways to determine an ocular dominance. There's a real simple method I use most of the time with shooters, and um, it, it seems to be really valuable to us. So I'm going to demonstrate to you how we do that. Okay. So let me have you, we'll, we'll face a target here. What I'm going to have you do is raise your, stretch your arms out all the way and make a small hole between your hands. A small okay. hole. Make it a little smaller than this, bring it down a little bit more. Okay. What, what I want you to do is, is I'm going to cover up one eye than the other one, and what I want you to do is look at right dead at the center of that target all the time. Okay. If you have to move your hands to stay in the center of the target, that's the wrong eye. So right now, does the target move at all or is it right in the center of your line of sight? It's gone. Okay. Now when we go here, is it back in place? Yep. Okay. So in this case, I would say you'd be left eye dominant in this case. Really? Yeah. Yeah. That's I'm right handed. So what does that mean for me when it comes to rifle shooting? Generally speaking with rifle, when you're shouldering a gun, you're going to pretty well block out the other eye because you're looking down the sights of the rifle, whether it's open sights, or what we call iron sights, or optics. You're pretty well in line. Regardless of which eye? Correct. Okay. And the same thing with handgun. When you're aligned down your handgun, you're, you're aligning those sights with my right eye. Okay. Shotgun is where the dominance becomes a different factor because really the shotgun shooters are really aligning on the bead, on the front of the, the, the front sight on the shotgun, sure. all the way down. Now, when they're aligning on that, if they're strongly left eye dominant and right-handed, they're shouldering the gun on the right side. If that left eye is really dominant, it's gonna wanna pick up the bead, and so you're aligning on the bead, looking at the bird, you're never gonna hit it. You'll be behind you it. Will, you'll be off, uh, you'll be way be off on the off. Okay. Yeah, yeah, you'll always be behind it. So sometimes those shooters have to put an occluder or a block over that, over that left eye so that uh, it won't take over. Okay. So the recommendation of always shooting with both eyes open with a shotgun may strongly depend on the individual to just put a blanket statement like you that are, over everything. You are correct, yeah, yeah. I think every shooter develops their own habits and sometimes they don't even know what those habits are. Well, I appreciate that information. Oh, you're very welcome. Absolutely perfect. And coming from an optometrist who actually knows what it is, do your research, figure out what the dominant eye is for you and adjust your shooting accordingly. Thanks so much for tuning in. Stay green.